All right, welcome to some Pokemon Platinum. I am so excited to start this playthrough. We just finished up Pokemon Ruby. Now we're moving on to Pokemon Platinum where I pressed A a little too quickly, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Let's just jump right into the gameplay. I'm so excited. Oh, man. Diamond and Pearl were one of my favorite games. So, all right, let's see here. Oh, right, hello there. It's for so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I think I made him a little too old. He's like 60. I just made him like 90. Oh, my name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Well, before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. No info needed. Oh, this world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon, or known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball, if you please. No, no, not that button. I pressed A. I'm sorry. All right, let's find my mouse there. Let's press that button, see what happens. Oh, it's a Buneary. Oh, we humans all live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times, we play together, and at other times, we work together. Oh, some Pokemon... Oh, some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct the research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. I think I've turned this guy into like a, uh, a German scientist that's trying to pretend he wasn't a German scientist. Whoops. Oh, now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Okay, I'm gonna be a man. A man's man. Alright, so you're a boy. I'm a teenage boy. Wonderful. I don't want to go through puberty again. Tell me, what is your name? Alright, let's see if my name actually fits this time. Let me press the right button. So, as you probably saw or know, my name is D Shaven, and I still cannot fit it into the area. Wonderful. All right, well, we'll be DeShaven. Oh, your name is DeShaven. Yep, that's what I said. I said my name's DeShaven. Weren't you listening? Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was a little rude, wasn't I? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, so you're DeShaven. A fine name, that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your uh, friend. Well, I don't like the way you said that. I'm married. Uh, what what might his name be? Hmm, I like the name Barry. Ooh, Roy's a cool name. We're gonna go with Barry. Why not? I think that's his actual name. Maybe, maybe. Oh, Barry, is it? That's your friend's name? Yes. Yes, it is. Alright. Deshaven. Deshaven. The time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things. Perhaps even something about yourself. Now, go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. Oh, goodness. He's shrinking me. Maybe he was an evil German scientist. He has a shrink ray. He's, he's evil. He's evil. Evil man. No Pokemon are by our sides, always. I hope you will understand the meaning of those words. That was the comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. He went to Kanto. I've been to Kanto. That concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rowan. And let me just start mashing the A button. Because this TV wants to take forever. Okay, there we go. We're done. Oh, goodness. There you are! Hey, hey, Deshaven! Did you just see the TV? Sure you did! Oh, Professor Rowan, that's a really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon! So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon! Oh, no, I'm a teenage boy and just broke into my room and now you're getting on my computer. Oh, bad idea. Oh, hey! This is a new PC! Oh, it's a new one? That's good, okay. Oh, where was I? Oh, right, 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 right. 
We're going to go see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Oh, Katie Shaven, if you're late, I'm finding you $10 million. Jeez, okay. I didn't press A on you. I didn't want to know that I had to press X to go open the menu. Oh, it's my mom. Katie Shaven, Barry already left. I don't know what it was about, but he was sure in a hurry. Yeah, I noticed that. I'm sure you guys noticed that too. Oh yes, the Shaven. Uh, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Well, take care, sweetie. Okay, can I run yet? Let's see if I can run. I cannot run. Darn it, I don't start with the running shoes. Wonderful. Let's go over here. Oh, goodness. Hey, get out of my way. That's rude. I got whiplash now. You owe me money. What was that about? Oh, hey, DeShaven. Ah, hey, I'm, I'm going to see Professor Rowan. You should come too, and quickly. Oh, what's going on? Oh, jeez, I forgot something. Okay. Do I still ha I, 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 I can't wait till there's a part where I don't have to work with, uh, uh, crap, what'd I name this guy? Uh, Barry? Barry talks too quick for me. I'd better take some, uh, take my bag and journal, too! Oh, hey, DeShaven! I'll be waiting on the road! It's a $10 million fine if you're late! Oh, goodness. You know, I'm just getting work. I'm just getting ready for the next game. You know, Enz is supposed to be a very fast talker as well. Where, I guess he has, like, a, uh, special text speed. That's faster than the faster setting. Fastest setting on your, uh... Actually, speaking of that, let's go do that. Options, let's put this to fast. Battle scene, battle style, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Let's go with that one. I like the original. Okay, now how do I get out of this? Yes, let's save that. <clears throat> All right. Now what? Oh, no, it's Barry. Some more. Oh, too slow. Yeah, I noticed. All right, let's go move on to Professor Oak. Professor Rowan's lab. What? Don't oh, wait, nope, that's not him. What? Don't go into the grass, right? No worries, no problem. Wait a minute. Who is this? Oh, I think that's still, uh, him. It doesn't matter. We don't have any Pokemon. Trust me. Trust me on this one. I've got an idea. Now listen, you know how wild Pokemon jump out when you go into tall grass? So, what you do is you scoot over the next patch of grass before any po wild Pokemon can appear. Yeah, because running in grass is actually going to attract more wild Pokemon. If we just keep dashing, we can get to Sand Gem Town, Sand Gem Town without even running into a wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. I'm regretting making him a fast talker. Okay, here we go. On your marks. Ah! Hold it. Who said that? Oh, it's Rowan. Oh, you too. Don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Ah, <laughs> get ah, Barry, you have nothing to say. Finally, finally. I got nothing to say either. Hey, Shaven. This old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? Professor. Oh, now Professor has nothing to say. Oh, they tried going into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm, what to do? Their world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on that path? You mean not giving monsters to children? I don't like nightmares, and I'm guessing I'm like 12. I, I think a, uh, some of these Pokemon would definitely give somebody a nightmare in real life. Oh, you two. You two. You truly love Pokemon, do you? Sure, I think I do. Me too, I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again. You two. You two truly love Pokemon, don't you? What? You can ask us a hundred times. The answer will never change. We'll both answer a hundred times. We love Pokemon. Right, T-Shaven? Yeah, well, I guess so. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own? It worries me what people like that would do with Pokemon. You are right. We're stupid. Huh? What? What? Well, I, uh, uh, hmm. 
Well then, forget about me, but a Pokemon to my friend here. Uh, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. Uh-oh, Professor? What did I just miss? How big of you? I think that was supposed to be Professor. Very well then. I entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourself again. Now then. Hmm? Now. Uh, where? Oh, hmm. Oh, it's done. Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. Oh. Oh, wait, uh, who is this? Oh, is something wrong here? Oh, uh, there it is. Dawn, nice work. What I was about to do was to entrust these two with their very own Pokemon. Pardon? Those Pokemon are hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Hmm? We, we exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people who should meet Pokemon. There is a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really, Professor Rowan? I can't believe it. I'm so happy now that I... I'm so happy now that I can't even keep a straight face. Hey, shaven you choose first. Oh, yeah, okay. Hey, I'm practically a grown-up. I have to show some class here. Oh, goodness. Now I gotta choose which Pokemon. Hmm. All right. Let's see what we got here. First off, we got Turtwig. Hmm. Turtwig is a pretty decent Pokemon, but it does have a weakness that it, he or she is four times weak to. And I do not like Pokemon who have four times weaknesses. Then we got Chimchar. Chimchar is a pretty good Pokemon. It's got a pretty high special and physical attack. But then there's also Piplup. Piplup has a pretty high special attack. And it also resists 10 out of the 17 types of Pokemon types that are in this game so far. Because Fairy is not in this game. So having over half of the types being resisted by its final evolution, I think Piplup might be the Pokemon we should go with. So, yeah, we got Piplup. Uh, then I choose you. I'm picking this Turtwig. Of course you are. Very well. Both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. They're all good Pokemon. Now listen. Listen well. The Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come find me at the lab in San Gem Town. Oh, and now, we'll be on our way. Okay, bye-bye. See ya. A professor, wait for me, please. I'm sorry, please let me pass. Well, I mean, we weren't really blocking you, but all right. How do you like that? Professor Rowan's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. <laughs> hey, DeShaven, we both have Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? Uh, what's the one thing? What's the one thing? It really depends. I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. DeShaven, I challenge you to a Pokemon battle. Or to a battle. I don't think the word Pokemon was even in there. Alright, we got ourselves Pokemon Trainer Barry, who is moving a little too much. Turtwig. Turtwig, when it fully evolves, it becomes Grass Ground, which it is then four times weak to Ice type. And I have a hard time choosing peop uh, choosing Pokemon who are four times weak to a typing. You know, it scares me. Now, the last Pokemon in Pokemon Ruby I chose, it also had a four times weakness. 
but, you know, I don't know. I chose Mudkip, which, when it was fully evolved, has a four times weakness to Grass type. My goodness, this is taking forever. Stop with the withdrawal. My goodness. Yeah, four times weakness is, uh, I don't know, they're, they're a little much. But Piplup, like I said, once it is fully evolved, has ten types it is resistant to. Which is an amazing thing to have. I believe it only has like three weaknesses. I'm gonna have to look at it. I was before I started the episode, I was actually having a really hard time deciding which Pokemon I wanted to choose. I really, really wanted to start with Chimchar. But Piplup, I was looking at it and Piplup's resistance is just too good to pass up. My goodness, I'm gonna Am I gonna lose this? because I can barely do any damage to this Pokemon. My goodness. I'm not having fun with this. Let's hit you with a growl. Let's lower your attack. My goodness. I hate when they do that first, right off the battle, they increase their defense by six or they decrease your attack by six. It's a pain in the butt. Look at that. I'm doing like 1 HP of damage. 1 HP of damage. I'm supposed to be the Pokemon trainer who has the amazing Pokemon. Not you. Oh my gosh. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose my first battle. How do I lose my first battle? Maybe I'll get a crit. Maybe I'll get a crit. Maybe. Give me a crit. No. Dang it. Of course. Wow. I lost my first battle. Piplup, you were supposed to be amazing. What was this? I'm out of Pokemon. I know. I lost $40. Oh, goodness. At least it's not $10 million. $10 million. Ha 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 I won. I won. But that battle, it could have gone either way. It was so close. It actually was kind of close. I can tell you one thing. Battling is awesomely fun. Okay, let's go home. I beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs rest, too. I see you, Deshaven. Well, well, what's going on? What is happening? Oh, I'm going home. Is mom making me food? Maybe. Maybe not. What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened to you? You and Barry are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. It wouldn't like... I wouldn't like to think what the wild Pokemon might have done to you two. Professor, or, uh, he's shaven. Go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sand Gem Town, isn't it? Uh, now, now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so threatening. Yeah, oh, oh, I know. He's shaven. Put these on. Yes, we got the running shoes. Oh, goodness. Now I can run and go faster. Going to Sand, going to Sand Gem Town. It's like an adventure in itself. In itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Press the B button. Yeah, we know how to run. We know how to run. Well, isn't that just nifty? Yes, it is so much better. Now that we got the running shoes, look at this. We can run. Yes. And back to Barry. Gosh. Too slow. These shaven. I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to see Professor Rowan so I can thank him properly. So I had this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake there? Uh, you know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. Let's catch that Pokemon with no Pokeballs between the two of us. Sure. That makes Professor Row. Uh, that'll make Professor Rowan happy. I'm sure of it. Me and you together, we've got nothing to fear. Yeah, except for me losing again. Yeah, that's that's uh, wonderful. I lost. All right, we're at the lake. Get ready, because because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one. It's here. It even says so on the sign. Yeah, but it's going to be a while before we can catch it. What's going on? Who is this? Who do we have here? The flowing time. The expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. 
remember it. Until then, sleep while you can. Legendary Pokemon of the Lake Bed. His name is Cyrus? Allow me to pass. Step aside. Well, you're rude. You're rude. That was rude. You could have said that a little nicer. What was that guy about? Weird guy. You need to slow down. Oh, Kitty Shaven, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. Huh? Huh? Did you hear that, D-Shaven? That was a legendary Pokemon cry. A uh, Pokemon crying. That, that had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Wait. What? We don't have anything on us. You know, Pokeballs. Pokey accent balls. P O K accent E balls. If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Do you think Professor Rowan. Rowan would give us some if we asked him? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to come visit him at the lab if we needed anything. Okay, D Shaven, I'll race you. First one to Professor Rowan's lab in San Jim Town rules. You already beat me. I'm sorry. You rule. I get it. Alright, Barry. You're so amazing. You're the best. I got the running shoes, but I'm not- I, I'm actually not even gonna make my way to, uh... I'm not making my way to the professor's lab yet. I got something I gotta grab over here. We have a hidden item that really doesn't matter for us to grab, but it's right here. It's a tiny mushroom. Which... I don't know what it's for. It might be for selling. It might be for the move tutor. Mushrooms have been used for the move tutor, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I have no idea. Hey, and then we got this guy. Or girl. I can't tell. You work at the Pokemart, do you? You're gonna give me something. Yes, you are. Aha, free potion. Alright. That's enough talking. Okay, let's make it to the uh, Pokemon Center. Uh, nope. To the lab. That's where we wanted to go. The lab. Oh, there you are. Please, come with me. The professor is waiting. Oh. I get a nickname of Pokemon and I have not even thought of the name. This is it. Our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Oh goodness, quit running into me. What the? Oh, it's you, DeShaven. That, that old guy, he's not scary so much he, as he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, DeShaven. I'm going. I'm out of here. See you later. I'm so glad I don't have to see him for a while. Wow. What was that? Your friend sure seems to really... to be really impatient. Yeah, I noticed that too. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Alright. What should I name my Piplup? No idea. I have no idea. Well, well. Look who's here. I do shaven. Was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Hmm, I, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. And trusting you with that Piplup was no mistake. It seems... Oh, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Yeah, let's give it a nickname. Alright, let me see here. Alright, I think I have an idea for Piplup's name. There is a type of penguin called the King Penguin. It is a male. So let's go ahead and name him King. We're gonna name him King. And I pressed the wrong button. Let's name him King and press the right button. Kin actually would be a kind of cool name. Kin meaning like family? Or is it kid? Relative? Something like that? Hmm. Okay, I see. And you're happy with that name? Yes. When I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass without Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astounded by these full-hearted uh, children. But now, you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already, there is a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Piplup feels the same way about you. That's why I'll ask you to cherish that Piplup of yours. I'm so glad that you're kind to, towards your Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I, I just can't say it. 
murder. Ahem. Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. Allow me to introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kind of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Yes. Hmm, I got an update. Hmm, a oh, good answer. I got the Pokedex. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Are you shaven? I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. When you walk up to Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years, even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, that's how I feel with my cats. I've had cats my entire life and dogs my entire life, and when I see a cat or a dog, I'm so happy. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrilling waiting for you out there. Now go. You shaven. Your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I met for the first time was a Chimchar. If you would have chosen a Chimchar on Route 201, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but anyway, I'm Dawn. I also helped the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a thrill, uh, 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 I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'd, I'll be happy to teach you some things. Glad to meet you, DeShaven. Wow, there's a lot of talking in this uh, thing. Oh, can I leave? Can I leave? I can leave! It's only been 30 minutes. Oh goodness, there's more talking. Uh, who is the one yelling my name? Hmm? I have something good here. You should take this as well. Oh, TM27 return. That's going to be a... Or I shouldn't say that's going to be a good item. That can be a good item. Or a move. I'm not really sure what my Pokemon team is going to consist of yet. That is a technical machine that one contains the move return. Using a technical machine, or a TM for short, teaches a, uh, teaches a move instantly to a Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is a single use only, as of now it is. The move return gains power the more friendly your Pokemon is with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use that TM or not. I'll send you off with the wishes that your journey will be fun. Oh wow, I didn't know the professor had TMs. Was he a trainer when he was young? Okay, DeShaven, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. All right, what are we doing? This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Okay. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and machine uh, medicines. You shaven. Since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, the Shaven. Don't you need to let your family know that? Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokédex? You need. Am 
my goodness. You, you need to go far away, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Poke Center. It will be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. All right. Wow, we are 30-ish, uh, over 30 minutes into the playthrough already. Wow. That was just the beginning. All right. That is going to do it for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to return back to my mother and tell her we are on a journey. But go ahead and leave a comment on this video as to what Pokemon you would like to see on my team because I have not thought about what Pokemon to put on my team yet. So let me know which Pokemon you'd like to see in this playthrough on my team. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.